Uh, good morning everyone. Uh, I am here just to talk about a dream that I had this morning. And typically I'm not somebody who talks about dreams or posts stuff on Facebook or put stuff on YouTube. I'm usually the person who is more looking at those videos. And in terms of looking on those videos on YouTube, I usually kind of ask God to say, okay, is this something that I should be looking at or not, before I even click on a video for YouTube. So by me, by making this video, I got up this morning and I prayed about it and I said, Lord, should I? And I think he, what he was saying to me was, I can go ahead and post this video. Now, I recall in the Bible it mentions that in the last days, old men shall dream dreams and young men shall see visions. And I believe that we are living in those times right now. Now, initially in this dream that I had this morning, I was like doing, going about my daily job. And it seemed like it was like another regular day. But um, for whatever reason, I kind of sensed that somebody at work wasn't really with me. So I kind of knew that in the dream. And just reflecting on it now, it also mentioned that in the last days, the love of many shall wax cold. Now, going forward from that um, part of the dream, I was like just going about my normal business, as I mentioned to you before. And it was like a sudden change in the whole environment in terms of initially it's like I was walking and then I was another aspect of a dream where I was walking and three young boys, like they're trying to rob me, right? And just talking now to you guys now, I'm kind of reflecting on that also. And it says, the enemy, go to about like a ruined lion seeking those that he may devour. And they tried to rob me, but they didn't prevail over me to rob me. And I escaped those three guys who were trying to rob me. And then this is where the dream started getting a little crazy because I remember it's like I was on a bus and like hail started to fall from the sky. And when I say hail, it wasn't like normal small hails that people usually see. I'm talking about big hails to the fact that it was breaking car windows. It, was, it broke up the bus window that I was in. And even the driver of that bus, he was um, taken by, not, it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was a man, it was more like a figure, like a red dark figure actually pulled him out of the bus. And it's like I was on a highway and I could even see a pastor that I knew and his car was destroyed by the hail as well. And... In the dream, I understood like why his car was destroyed because he was encouraging people to take the job. Now, in terms of that aspect, I would tell anybody that before they make a decision on that, they need to pray about it. And of course, the Lord speaks to people in different ways. So for me personally, I prayed three times to God and then I got my answer in terms of that that job in terms of whether or not I should take it or not. Now I don't think the dream was so much more so much about that, but it was more about what may be happening in the last days and what would be happening in the last days. And what I was seeing in that dream was all biblical because in terms of plagues being on the land, there was a lot of plagues. And when I say plagues I mean there was like I know people were trying to escape everywhere. It's not a case where anybody was standing there ground and like, hey, let's, let's try to just um, weather this storm out. People were just running for their lives. And I remember also in the Bible it says that men shall be um, scarce in those days. And the reason is because people are going to be dying. There's going to be a lot of debt in that time. And I remember I went to this one, it's like there was like a, a like an apartment or like a housing structure and this lady was trying to this lady this lady was trying to um 
she was basically trying to hide herself and um i wanted the lady just to kind of hide me as well in her in her on her house on her property and i didn't even want to go into her house i just wanted to be outside on the grass and she was basically saying no and when i was running i wasn't running by myself there was another female who hands i was holding the, all this time it's like we're trying to escape escape together and of course i don't know that person but it's like there was another female with me who i was holding her hands and running and both of us were running together and as soon as that lady put us out of the house i remember seeing the same plagues going under her door it was like like ticks were coming under her door and down the street is like even before i went into that lady's house i saw down the street is like you had people wielding knives in their hands and they were like trying to kill people who were trying to escape and it's not a case where to, in in it's not a case where these people were just like i don't think it was natural i would think it was like just that sense of evil was everywhere and these knife wielding people where they're killing people like just killing them just indiscriminately just killing people and when that lady put us out of her house both me and this other person who was holding their hands were running down on that street and they started to approach us because of course they wanted to kill us and i remember in the dream i was there quoting scriptures like to them and i remember this one scripture that um because I was quoting this other scripture, but that's the only one that I do remember right now that I'm talking with you guys is that it mentioned that the Lord our God is one. And even when I was quoting that scripture, the young man who wanted, who had a knife in his hand, who wanted to kill me, um, he finished the quotation of that scripture. So he knew the scripture as well. And it's not a case where at that point I was... Um, afraid it was more cautious of them knowing that these persons wanted to do us harm and i remember then i was in another place it was like a structure and the young man who wanted to kill me on that um, street he was also a part of that it was like an institution and in that institution when they're taking their lesson they're all kneeling down and facing they're like they're facing like a certain direction when they were taking their their um their their um, their their lesson and it wasn't a language that was familiar to me right but they're being taught in this institution where they had to kneel down to take the lesson and at that point of the dream i woke up now i'm not posting this to to scare anyone or to you know you know just to entertain anybody i'm doing this because i feel that we're living in a time where people need to start drawing closer to god and recommit their lives to the lord i feel like it's a time where you have to start reading your bible and learning how to feed yourself it's like i know a lot of people rely on like different you know people to feed them in terms of spiritually giving them spiritual food but I think we're living in a time where we now have to start learning how to feed ourselves and drawing close to God. Because a lot of people are saying, yes, no, they want the Lord to come. But I'm saying the day of the Lord is not going to be like um, a walk in the park. It's going to be a very grievous time. The, the tribulation is going to be a, a grievous time. Now, I'm not here to debate whether it's going to be pre-trib, post-trib, mid-trib. I'm not here to debate any of that. I'm just saying you have to be ready. And because the time that we're going into is going to be very difficult. And it's time that we really refocus. Because again, you don't have one situation where you're lukewarm in that time. You have to be prepared spiritually. Right? And even if we do pass away in that time, knowing that we have the Lord with us and that we have lived for him, I think that's going to be the most important aspect of that time, living in that time which I believe is we are very close to approaching. So with that, I thank you for listening to me. And again, if anybody on this video who if they have not accepted the Lord, I just pray that um, they find a way to get to know him. And I just leave with this one scripture when the Lord said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anybody hears him, just open the door.
and letting in. Thank you all and have a good morning.